Welcome or welcome back to the video. So we left off with this doggone painting. This doggone painting that I just could not finish. I mean, I don't know what it was aside from running out of paint, running out of the color that I want, just feeling like it wasn't coming out the way I wanted it. It was a whole mess. Watch me struggle for days to figure out and finish this painting. But I am very confident that we will figure this painting out. And I'm very proud of the end. Like, it, the journey that it took to get there was a headache. But I do love the final result. So sometimes it is worth starting over and having a moment, having a couple of moments. I'll say that I had a couple of moments. <laughs> oh, it was a mess. And also, if you haven't checked out the first part, check out the first part so you can see how we got here. So we are at Ikea to get pillows to finish off the couch because I want those pillows that chop and these were ones that I could find that I could get two days so I drove 40 minutes insane oh wait 16 by 26 maybe I should get one of those I mean, it wouldn't hurt. How much is this? <laughs> How much is the 16 by 26? I don't know, I'm seeing the price. All right, I had to get about that stove because it was gonna cost me more money than I intended to. Let me wipe this camera off. So I got the four pillows. The problem that I'm having is that I had some Euro pillows that I wanted to get pillowcases for too, but they didn't have any that I liked. And I really don't know any other place where you can buy Euro pillows without going on Amazon. Well, that might be the next place I'll look because I, I genuinely can't think of any other place. In order to get that like karate chop type pillow, you need feathers or a down alternative. But when I was looking online, they said feathers are better for that because the down alternative can lose its shape somehow. I don't know how, but for some reason it said the feathers were better and I didn't want to order on Amazon because I wanted them now. <laughs> I'm impatient. Like I'm not an Amazon girly. I'm a, uh, I want to go in the store and get it right now if I can. And I'm willing to pay whatever I got to pay to get it right now. Even overnight is not good enough. I'm that patient. Plus, I like to feel my products and like get my hands on them, see the actual sizes of them before I buy them. Because I hate doing returns. It's too much. Let me just see it. Let me feel it. Let me see if it's right now. And then I take it home with me. Okay. This is the pillow. It's a little flat for now. So this is the feather pillow. I paid $7 for each pillow um, from Ikea. Here's the tag, because I cannot pronounce this for the life of me, friend. I have not put a pillow on a pillowcase in a long time. But these are going to give me that karate chop that I love seeing on Pinterest and at people's houses. So now I'm going to have it in mine and I am ecstatic. Okay, yeah, this, will, this works. Let me do the rest of them.
I had a moment and I just freaked out and painted the whole canvas black. Cause I don't know what to do with it now. Like, I don't know what to do with it. I'm really conflicted. And now I need more speckle. <laughs> Anyways, we are pulling up to, oh yeah, we're pulling up to Menards, so to get a big bucket of spackle because I'm probably going to spackle the office soon too so I need enough to do the canvas and get the spackle for the other uh, room. Okay, so we got the spackle, I got big thing spackle. This is for the paint and then obviously these are for the paint as well. So we should be all set. I'm so damn it, like a super tall one like these. When I get a house, I'm gonna have a huge fountain. It's gonna be ridiculously huge. After some rest and relaxation and gathering myself, we're gonna tackle this. Ooh, not the TV. We're gonna tackle that again. I have all my stuff, like I showed you earlier. Oh my gosh, this is heavy. I got the big old thing of it. This is like seven dollars too. You know how much a smaller one of that costs at Walmart? I think the smaller one of that at Walmart costs like seven or eight dollars. No, it costs like five or six dollars. I paid seven ninety nine for that big thing. And then we're gonna hang the other painting that is finished so that I can hang the other one with it. Well, I don't know. Yeah, because I need to see it starting to come to life, so I am going to hang, or at least attempt to mark the spot where I'm going to hang it, because it's going to take some measurement, because I need to make sure they're both, like, I need to make sure they're evenly spaced, make sure they look right in the space, and make sure they are stable, because imagine sitting on this couch, and a fucking 48 by 60 falls on your head, two of them. So although this painting may look like I have a direction, at this point in time, I had no clue what I was doing. I mean, I was just kind of going for it, hoping something would work. Because at this point, I was, I was not going to start this over. I was just going to have to figure it out. For this hanging part, you're not going to see me do much measuring because I kind of know my wall at this point. I know where I want them. But if you're not 100% sure and you don't think you can eyeball it properly, definitely pull out that measuring tape and, and make it work. Don't be afraid to, to take out measurements. Just because it looks easy does not mean it was easy. Because as you can see, I still pulled out my measuring tape as well. Bag. You see how they're both like kind of crooked? Why? It looks kind of cool in person though, but on camera it looks stupid. Okay, they're hung. They are hung properly, but this one, I think the wood is a little bent because that part kind of sticks out, but I'm either going to hot glue that or I'm going to find, I think I might have like a command hook or something that can hold that down. But I like it. Of course, this is going to get dried and painted, but I needed to see them together. And I think it takes up a perfect amount of wall space. Not too much, not too little. Okay, friend. So I don't know if this is going to make it in the video or not, but I just feel like the living room is not complete. This is $30. This one's like $15. But that just seems too, too big for the plant. Like, I'd have to put both plants in there. But I do like this little $15 one, though. I might get this one. Oh, it's already black. 
Alright. I also like this one more. This one is 40. But I think I can make that. I think I'm just gonna try to make that. Yeah. Okay, I found these bowls. They're 25 cents a piece because they're on sale. And I'm gonna make a pedestal bowl. Oh, that's so cute. And these are like, oh, please don't fall. We're good. Ooh. Okay, so I found some more. This is cute. This is a really pretty, like, sandy color. So they have the bowl or like the plate, which you could do. It's like a raised tray. And here's what it would look like. That's cute. And they're $4 a piece, so that's about $8. That's cute. But I'm stuck on this cream color. It's like off-white cream color. I'm gonna get that instead. The plates that I was just in there saying were 25 cents were actually two dollars. Um, they were in the wrong place, but again, that's still four dollars for a pedestal bowl, you know, plus the glue. Okay, I just got out of Walmart. I didn't film in Walmart because Walmart be a little like finicky about it. Like sometimes they be okay with it, other times they don't. I feel like it just depends on the day. Like if sis is having a bad mood, she's like, "Oh, don't film in here." But you know, if it's payday, she's like, oh yeah, that ain't, I don't mind. I did grab two, um, two, technically four yards of fabric. I got two in gray, two in white, and it's kind of a similar fabric to the ones that I got from Ikea, uh, which kind of is the point so that they all kind of look cohesive. But I think I'm gonna dye the white fabric brown because, I don't know, I'm just really, like, living for this brown. Like, I just have a vision of this dark brown, like, this rich brown pillow on my couch. So, I have my hot glue gun here. It's uh, warming up. And then I have my E6000. Um, so, I have done this before, so this isn't really anything new to me. But what I like to do is take the stickers off. If it's in the center, but since this one is on, I'm probably still gonna take it off anyway. Why not? Um, but I normally take the stickers off because that'll help it stick better. One time I stuck it to the stickers, and I mean that thing fell apart as soon as I put a I put a cup on top of it and it fell. So that's why I'm reinforcing it with the E6000, even with just hot glue. So if you don't have E6000, you don't have to have it. You can definitely use the hot glue, but I just want to reinforce it because my last one came apart when I dropped it, um, which probably should have happened because I dropped it but I think this would be a lot more secure and this will like give me that peace of mind it'll be a lot easier to see the center yeah that was that was a smart move but yeah so I'm gonna actually apply the e6000 around the perimeter because this does have a ridge on it so maybe I'll apply it around that ridge instead just make it easier on myself yeah that's probably my best bet. And yeah, you can get E6000 glue from like some of anywhere. I think you can get that from Walmart. Um, more than like, oh yeah, for sure Michaels, Hobby Lobby, I think. You know, those kind of stores. The E6000 glue definitely takes quite a while to dry, like fully to fully bond, which is where this comes in. Um, I'm going to use this, you know, around the center and Probably a little bit around the edge, just to make sure, you know, it doesn't move. Now, I'm going to be careful with this because I'm good at placing stuff on the wrong way. But the good thing about the E6000 is if you do it wrong, you can always redo it. Um, I think I just did it wrong. I don't know. It looks right. Right. It's slightly off-centered. It's definitely slightly off-centered, but I'm going to leave it alone because it's going to be glue everywhere if I keep moving it. Um, well, let me test if it's stable, though. Okay, yeah, so it's still stable, even on the other side. All right, cool. So I'm going to let this sit before I put anything on it. 
probably at least until tomorrow afternoon to be honest but yeah like i said earlier in case you missed it this was four dollars this was four dollars i thought they were 25 cent but they were in the wrong section and i wasn't gonna be i wasn't gonna bug the employees about it because for one they were about to close and for two you know i just don't want to be a bug i'm still having trouble with this canvas you see how there's no space in between there hold on See how there's no space in between there, but there is at the top? It's because this canvas keeps moving because the wood is bent. So it doesn't sit on the wall flush. But I had a piece of double tape there that was holding it, but that double tape just does not seem to be holding it. So I'm probably going to have to go to the store tomorrow to um, get some like gorilla mounting tape because I did see some at Target today, but I don't know why I didn't grab it. It's the next day. I didn't go to sleep, <laughs> but hear me out, okay? I didn't go to sleep because I just could not sleep. Like, it, I, I don't know what it was. We're going to head to grab the rest of the stuff. To be quite frank with you, I don't even know what the first stop is. I'm just going to go. And actually, I think I do know what my first stop is, if they're even open this early. Okay. I just left on a Ross. And I've also been to Marshall's and a couple other places and didn't find anything. So I did order these, um, I think they're called no-no rods. Something like that. Hang on. They're called no-no brackets. So basically what they do is you hook them on top of the blinds that usually come with um, your apartment, like those vertical blinds. So that you don't have to drill holes in the wall. Because I want to add some um, curtains to my dining room because I just feel like that would help the space a little bit. Like, not only that, but, you know, then I don't have to look at those blinds because, ugh, I hate those blinds. Oh my gosh, the reflection on her car was ridiculous. I'll meet you at Ikea. Nice. Oh, yep, and the car's right over there. I'm going to grab two more of these. But that's good though. It's pulling my hair. <laughs> I've never been to an at home that is this dead. I mean, this parking lot is empty. Let's see. Hang out there. Well, let's see. It is literally a ghost town here. Like. Oh, these are so pretty. Are they long? These are on clearance. Oh no. I don't think this is budget friendly anymore because I'm about to probably spend a little money. Look at this. <gasps> That's cute. Wait, I didn't know it was that long. I like this. They have a gray version. My auntie actually has a pillow like this on her couch, but hers is square. That's cute. This is cute. It looks a little red, but it's because it's a yellow umbrella right there. It's open. Anyway, it's more like a tan. This is really cute too, though. These two together would be very cute. So they have a pure white. Like, this is like a white, white. That's like an off white. Hold on. I didn't even notice that until I seen them side by side. I like this one better, actually. And this one, I think, is 50% off, too. Yes, it is. Nice. So I'm gonna get this one instead. So I just found this campus grass. It is so tall. Oh, I'm so excited. And look how much it is. Hold on. Focus on there. 17 bucks. Since it won't focus. There we go. $17 for this whole thing. And honestly, this is all I need because I don't want it to be like too much. Maybe I should get another one. I need a base for it first, to be honest. So maybe I'm going to get this and put this back. Because I don't really need that. But this sold the show. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. So I'm going to get another one of these and put that back. So right now it's looking like it's going to be this base. I don't know though. I might paint it. I might end up painting this, honestly. You know, this color is really pretty, but this is only 60 bucks. So, I'd say a steal. 
Okay, friend. You want to haul? And I'm so glad I went out again because I kind of was feeling like, eh, about it. Like, I was like, oh, this is cool, right? This is cool. But I could take it to the next level just a teeny bit. And I guess I can just show you what I got. So this one I got from Ikea. It is a set of candle stands. And the only reason that I got these is because I've seen them on the display and they were beautiful because these were on the display and it felt it didn't feel complete without them. So this is a pack of, I think it's eight total, even though I only need two out of here for now. But, you know, I can always use the other ones for other stuff, which they'll probably come into play for like Halloween. And of course, I got some more pillows. So this time I went back and grabbed two more 20 by 20s and then I'm going to make the pillowcases for these and add those to the couch. And, but I also went and got some 16 by 26 pillows. Yeah, I got a little candle snuffer. And then I went to Burlington today and I got some more white curtains, just some regular plain white curtains. They have a little bit of texture to them, but um, they're just regular white curtains. <laughs> I already opened these, but I got the no-no hooks from Amazon. And then I also got this from Burlington. It's just a cute candle. It says Mojave, but I like the brown on it. And then, of course, we have the bowl that I made earlier in this video. It is finished. It's very, ooh, it's very solid. <laughs> Wait, you can't even see it. I have a tray, a new tray. Where did I get this from? I think I got this from Burlington. And then let me show you my favorite thing. Oh, I was so excited when I found this. I have some 6 5 campus graph that I got from at home. <laughs> so this is a floor vase that I got from at home. It was $60. I think I'm gonna cut this down. I think I'm gonna cut this down so that it'll be like a little taper. I don't know how that's gonna work, but we'll see.
also, this is a fabric that I dyed today, that I bought the other day from Walmart to make the pillows with, and it came out perfect. This was white at first. And I mean, this is the perfect brown. Like, this is exactly the brown I was looking for that I could not find online. I'm going to mess around and dye my curtains this color. I like this brown, though. It's really cute, and it'll pull some of the tones from this painting really well and tie it all together. So I did end up finishing the brown pillows, and I think they came out pretty good. This one definitely, was, you could tell this was my first one. But I also worked on the 16 by 20, what was that, 16 by 26, yeah, pillows. I made some leather pillowcases for those. Just wanted to try something different, add some nice, like, texture to the couch. Kind of, you know, switch up the vibes from the canvas. And then, of course, I did the same thing over here. You can tell this one was my second try because it's a lot more polished. And then this one as well. I am overall happy with how they came out. Like, they're gorgeous. And again, I love the leather, like, kind of adds a nice texture to it. All right. I am finally done with this living room. Man, it's been a long time coming. But, yeah, I'm happy with the way it turned out. Obviously, you know, I'm going to make little tweaks here and there because it's never perfect and it's never finished. But I'm, I'm happy with it. So, cut to the finishing tour, montage, clips, that. But nonetheless, this was so much fun to do. I am so, so, so happy with the results. Anyway, make sure you subscribe. Go ahead and give this video a like if you got this far. Make sure you go and watch part one if you did not. I will see you in the next one.